What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Find something to hit me with. What? Why? You're not gonna hurt me that bad. I tell them you attacked me from behind in the dark, that I didn't see shit. They can't prove I let you get away. I hope. Always. I gotta go now. Take care of him. You're gonna find him, Sean. I trust you. <laughs> Oh, bless her. You okay now? Is it gone? I... I think. <laughs> Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. Why, hello there, young sir. Can I help you? Uh... I think so. Yeah, uh... You here for the service? No, oh, technically I'm looking for my brother. Not really looking for someone. Wait. <laughs> no way. The angel Daniel? Oh shit. Oh god. I, I can't. I, I actually can't believe this is what he's. Uh... Will reveal the true power of the Lord. We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But. We don't need to. We have a new home now. Daniel! <coughs> let me go, asshole! <laughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Panda, please, just give me an option to ditch him. I don't care if I don't get the end of the game at this point. Sean? Karen? By being a little brat to me? Getting me thrown out the church? He's guilty of everything! Why am I the only one that can see this? To be careful with the Reverend Mother. Like, if that kid she dies, I'm not gonna shed a tear. For somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Seriously? How can she ignore that? Dear Reverend Fisher, I hope you'll forgive what must feel like an intrusion into your church and your beliefs, but I have great respect for what you've built over the past decade. I have no doubt that the Lord has chosen you for a reason. I'm a long-time personal family friend of the Hackmans, including their precious daughter who has had too long a time of illness. Blessedly, is there, some, there is some medical help available that her family is, however, denied due to your advice. They see her pneumonia as a spiritual problem that only you can solve through prayer. While I believe that is partially true, I believe that we have to work with the miracles provided by medicine. I hope you can see the severity of this situation as I feel some personal responsibility for Sarah Lee and her family, who are devout people. I'd like to talk next week if possible and hear you take on this matter. I hope you're not offended by my outreach. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Severely, Reverend Oliver Grand, Cavalry Centre for Christ, Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. I mean, I kind of assume car, she's okay? she started a fire, right. but not like a whole ass building. Careful, okay, you too, Sean. Good luck. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't know I was going to do it with a gun. Probably oh, should have thought that. Sean, foolish child. You can't threaten me with death. I embrace it. I should have got uh, Daniel to do it. Me. Um, get rid of Elizabeth. Ask Daniel. Open the door, Nun. Daniel, after all I did for you, you can still repent. I don't believe you anymore. Ugh. Oh, I didn't say Yita. I asked you to open the door. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. Wolf brothers wandered for days 
knights learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the Wolf Brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world. But danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage. But when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up. After all that time, she said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The Wolf Brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her home. Hey, wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. <laughs> so? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nana. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. <clears throat> Either this is a dream, or uh, Daniel's hair grew back hella quick. Well, they've been out in the desert for a while. I'm noticing their mum isn't there. <laughs> Diaz brothers. Always.
So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes, I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. Um, it's like she's scared. Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. She gonna end up being the big bad, so that's what's happening here. Listen, we're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean, are we criminals now? Um, I mean, we always kind of were, but... No way. We did exactly what we had to. You know, we'll tell him nice things. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah, I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Um, yeah, we oh. can tell you, Daniel. Yeah. I can tell you. Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to the Romano Wolf, the Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the Coyote Cult. She led them to her secret lair deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while. But at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied... A mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are, but it's my story too. Right? I mean, Fez, but... <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay, then. So what happens next? Uh... They... They arrive in Mexico. But the country is rampaged by goblins. Ah, uh, uh, you ruin it. Daniel ruined it. Shocker. The Unicorn managed to slay them. And become heroes. The police forgives them. And all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's back this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. And this place is too pretty. Come back to Life is Strange 2. This is episode 5, so we're actually on the final episode now. Um, so I would say we pack everything up. Can we use the test it? so incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. <laughs> it's like we're right there. I'm not really sure where they got a telescope from. I'm guessing their mother, but... watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, um, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Okay, so... Okay. There we go, Yo, Daniel. Captain Cam, can you take these away? Sure. Okay. Perfect formation. We're just going to get him to pass them to us. Sure. Whatever. He's going to use his powers anyway. We've learnt this. Activate flashlight. On the way. God, that took you a minute, didn't it, Daniel? Slacking. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. <laughs> Can't catch it, huh? No shit. 
Now cut it out. Jeez, you're no fun. Um, anything else that he can pass us? Nope. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah. Right. Can we draw? That seems like something that we should be able to do. It is! Ooh, sketching time! Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. Yeah, no thanks to you, you Lee. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But, if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Eh, you can try. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop trying. Ever. Probably should have thought that before you took my eye out, mate. Thanks, man. You're Just saying. So cool. It's looking pretty hey, cool. Can you draw me as a superhero? Like striking a pose over the camera. Hmm. Sure. I can try. My back hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Jeez. Do I really look that evil? He looks more like a super villain. Oh, okay. Oops. I was trying to draw him as a badass, but fine. Kid is never happy with what I choose to do. Never. That is kind of what you look like when you use your powers, though, dude. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. We can pack up the sleeping bags. Is Daniel up to? Sounds like Daniel's up to something. What are you um, doing? Um, Daniel. What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Oh my god. Daniel Don't actually listened to me. Oh my do god. Eat scorpions? No it is idea. a goddamn miracle. Cool. Let's go. He listened to me, guys. It's only taken us till episode five, but we made progress. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> um, we saw the Milky Way. Hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Yeah, these guys are real cool. Is there anything up here? Ooh. What about it? Oh, we can discuss it. I don't know why we'd want to discuss a weed. Didn't Joanne will let me help her with the sculpture when we get back? Didn't let me do it Hell anyway. Yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hiding. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with you. <laughs> Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Um, she's in denial, she's confused, she doesn't care. Uh, I'd say she's confused. She's... <clears throat> confused. Like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know... I mean... She hasn't seen you for years. I'm not sure she can deal with all of this at the same time. <laughs> huh. It must be weird for her. I hear you. Come on, kiddo. You know, I could have done it by myself, right? Hey, let me be the cool help. Oh, look, look. Looks like a job for our local super cool psychic boy. Yeah, and you scared it. 
Daniel, there is no time for lizards. Just move this out of our way, please. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. Yeah, no yeeting yourself off a cliff. I mean, you're finally starting to listen to me, kiddo. Did it have to be that excessive? There you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> I probably nice would have just man. dropped them off one by one, not like, you know, push them out of the way. But whatever. So I'm guessing they're actually staying elsewhere, but their mum kind of showed them this place so that they could practice with his powers a bit, maybe? Huh. Well, this looks pretty cool. It's like a hideout, I guess, but not a hideout. It's just private. They did say that the, um about the wolf mother showing them the hideout, so. I guess maybe this is where she's been all these years. Hey, I'm gonna go see what Joanne is doing. Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Oh, so it is like a whole community. Well, I'm sure we're going to kill one of them. That's what seems to happen. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen. Nice. <laughs> back soon. Be pancakes in the kitchen. Rude. We still have a telescope, though. That's pretty cool. Daniel, you copy? And they got walkie-talkies. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat, pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry, I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and... 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Okay, well... Got cards. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. <laughs> Karen likes to join us, too. Hey, that's nice. At least they're building a relationship with their mum. Daniel stuff. Nice mess. Daniel will never change. No. I mean, I mean, we say this, but he kind of is. Like, he actually listens to me now. Still can't believe she's kept it. Huh. Interesting. Can I eat the pancakes, though? I would love to... Ooh! Take USB key? What's the USB key for? We'll have to have a look on that. That's his stuff, I think. If not, I've just stolen someone's USB key. She's really good at rewriting her own life. I am a solo Mobius strip. Just when I reach the end, I go back to the beginning. Resign myself to new faces, the privilege to escape and rewrite another draft. Goddess laughs at plans and shows me the page left unmarked for years. Out in the ghost desert, that seeds the seeds return of saplings to reveal their age and power. Forward, laid with fear and hope to water the children of the sun. This one's pretty intense. Don't believe I would Think find I a soul within or without a church. A miracle was sleep and food and funk, a day without shit, until it was not. Now we run to celestial spires over the visions of the fake prophet engulfed in ego and belief. As the burning cross falls on all your cruel angels, I am the bonfire of vanities. So when the dam breaks, we all flood like glass on a mirage, if I believe. Interesting. Karen, Look, Karen's bed. In her own house as we arrived. It's a sofa, but okay. Either Karen was desperate for a job, ah. or she loved working with kids. Fair enough. Open your backpack and check your objectives. Oh, we can eat some pancakes. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. Fair enough. Can I put... I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Fair enough. Ugh, that sounds... Gross. Yeah. I'm with you on that. That doesn't sound too... 
too nice. Oh, we got some letters. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. Oh, that's sure. They deserve some peace. Sorry I did not write to you sooner, but this is the first time I've had a chance to relax after we got out of Haven Point. Thanks to you and your brother. I still can't believe it really happened. So bizarre. Sarah Lee and I do miss our parents, but we're not ready to let them know where we are yet. We will figure it out later. With the money you gave me, I could pay a month's rent in advance for a room in a small beach town on the coast. Sarah Lee loves it. She's much better now, thanks to the antibiotics. We're doing great. The most important thing to me is my sister, just like your brother. You are very lucky to have each other, and we are blessed when you both came our way. We were blessed when you both came our way. I'm trying to track down our Humboldt crew so i'll keep you posted i hope everybody is okay after the night on the farm we all deserve a break and a better future please let me know that you, when you make it to the other side you and daniel got this give our little hero a big hug take care jake so cute hi daniel <laughs> hope you're Looks good like and Lyra happy has some competition yeah. I feel so much better now i'm so happy i got to see the ocean for the first time even tried to surf i think i could be good at it i could go to the beach even if the water is cold i love this weather way more than the heat please come see us soon thanks for being one of my best friends sarah lee Ooh. and there's a letter from cassidy i believe oh Tim is that the one how much i miss cassidy's voice and her songs ah! and dude <laughs> Hola, well, city boy, no more city boy. Jake hooked me up your PO box and now you can't hide from your old crew anymore. I know you took off from the hospital and I'm glad you're still going down to Mexico. We've all been fugitives on the run, but you and Daniel are the kings of the road. I hope you finally get back home. Of course, I'm not ready to settle yet, so we're all hanging out in Colorado. The idea is trying to get as far away of the West Coast as possible. Too many ghosts for now. Hard to believe Finn isn't here to start it, and we don't miss him for that. But he'll get a few more we all want to remember him for his angels, not his demons. I miss you. I would love to take a road trip out this year, and it would be great to swim with you again, so you better let me know when you hit Mexico, Sean. Don't make me track you down. Here, I'll give you my number, so no excuses. Love, Cassidy. Oh, that's quite sweet. Um, that's their bed. Okay, so, so that's why um, room. Karen is sleeping on the sofa. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Hand I get it. Oh! What's going on? I'm still not used to this heat out here. Um, Sean's tabs, Karen's tabs, use USB key. Okay. Brody's so good at describing painful situations. Hey, Brody! And seeing the good into it. You can go home again by Brody Holloway, Salt Lake City, UT. Last time I saw my mother before this year, I said I had to leave them alone, that I was done with the whole bullshit family. My real fam were the strangers I met on the road who became friends, not my family, who became strangers. I adopted all the online con uh, connections I made around the world and all those wandering souls that I would encounter on my journeys ahead. You'd be reading about them right now, except next time I saw my mother, she was in a hospice at our Utah home. Her body light and frail as a web, holding my hand and telling me that she was sorry about everything that kept us apart for most of my adult life. My mom was dying of cancer and she was sorry. So I cried, she cried, my brother cried, we all cried. Of all, and all the years of family bullshit blew away to dust like that finger snap sound. I just wasn't mad anymore. I didn't know it would be so easy or so hard. It didn't mean the past didn't happen or that I wasn't responsible in my own way. My brother used to tell me I was a fake liberal because while I was out trying to save the world, he had to take care of my mum and family estate. Maybe he was right, but I told him that he also had the money to take care of them. God damn, if I was in charge of the finances, I would have given away the family estate and we'd be broke living in a co-op. <clears throat> my brother knows this. Families are just fucking weird. Society tells us to love your parents and siblings simply out of blood and chance, but what if you hate each other? What if you're only linked by random DNA? What if? Oh, bless him. A tribe called West. Um, random DNA, what if, whatever, it doesn't matter. I've seen the best and worst of people everywhere I roll. You tend to have those extremes at 3am at an empty gas station or some on some desolate freeway. Yes, I've seen strong families bonds in hard times. I know there are big siblings out there who will always care for their little siblings and vice versa. They help me to understand our fragile filial ecosystem. In our last hours, my brother and I held my mom's thin fingers as she passed onto, onto a place. I hope is better than the one she came from. Um, after she was gone, I found a stash of some old school essays and stories, the only thing I was good at in school. I never knew she kept this stuff or that she cared. Even if we never understood each other, she must have been a little proud that I went my own way and tried to be a force for good. Mothers know how to make you cry like a little bitch. The first time tears had burned my eyes in a long time, it felt good. So now I've come home, come back to a home I once vowed to never return. I don't feel so alienated this time, even if I still am. Like I say too often, there's a difference between being alone and being lonely. Now I have an estate to deal with and more responsibility than I actually want. But I have to see this as karma, or destiny, or the um, dark 
privileged. Don't panic, but I may be taking a break from my life on wheels just to see who or what I can help. Now I have more resources to spread around. I'm sure my brother will approve. Insert sarcasm. If we're still talking after all this memorial bonding. Okay, it's not a happy ending, but maybe it's a hopeful one. And speaking of hope, given the sad state of this sad nation, I've been thinking it's time to move outside my comfort zone since dispatches from places and people I'm not so familiar with. Places I can explore to tell new stories from, like Canada or Mexico or The Road Never Ends. We miss you too, Lila. Oh, and then he's got up Lila. Oh. Lila Park, me during the day, all good, under control, me at 3am in my bed. Lila Park uploaded a new picture, Lila Park uploaded a new picture, my birthday baby bro, Daniel Diaz, missing, not forgotten, I'll make a wish for you, 10 people like this. Well, that's quite sweet. Um, let's see looking at. I had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. <laughs> Karen's a real life hacker. Pirate seeds, native seed savers in the southwest. Um, Arid land special offers Amaranth, New Mexico, beans, jack beans, squash, Apache giant, corn, maricopa, tarahumara, and tuxapeno. Um, see also hand pollinating your crops, harvesting, storing seeds. <laughs> Interesting. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. Must pay better than poetry. Hi, Karen. Thanks for your last advice, Colin. We got quite a response and a lot of hits. I know you don't want a social media footprint, but if you could get generate a lot of clicks with your insights, looking forward to your next piece. Please make sure to send your invoice for May and June. Best, Arian Klein, managing editor, Desert Life Weekly. Okay. Right, what's on the USB key? Whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. A lot of stuff. Um... So, math, home, movies, and stuff, other crap, pictures, drawings, Misty Mice tickets, huh? Hey, Dad. Oh, that's cute. Mama always uh -huh. Oh, these guys are so sweet. Okay, so that was what was on the USB. Oh, What's that? Check USB key. Is that just coming up with the same stuff? Whoa. I should have gone through yeah. that flash drive weeks ago. Okay. VHS tape. Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Chupacabras from <laughs> outer space. Maybe Fair they enough. Were together. Ugh. A I snake wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the <laughs> That's quite amusing. Fair enough. The things of lizard in the desert. Gotta keep my eye lube handy. Well. Glad I don't need it as much. Oh, that's so gross. I can't. She changed my diapers, but it feels kind of awkward to be here. Um, right, so that's, I think that's everything in here, isn't it? Oh, we got some stuff on the fridge. Looks like they all finally found their home. Aww, that's so sweet. I'm guessing this is all the people that we're living with, right? Um, another. Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Fly by night, not by fright, into the big city bright. Stop that cliche, uh, never dying in the still, the buildings, the wharf of the street, but no matter what or where I spin, the pull of a million dead poets takes me to dance once again, but this time I get to lead until the next flight. Fair enough. And a note. Is that the one about going to town? <laughs> Karen yeah. doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. Oh, we've got another group picture. Or was that the one that I just looked at? That was the one I just looked at. Karen looks so young and fragile in this Aww. picture. Hmm. Okay, so Quite that's times. everything in here. We've done that. Oh, it wanted me to look in my backpack, didn't it? I always forget to look in my backpack. What we got to read through. Is that, is that it? Okay, well, it doesn't want me to look in my backpack after all. Hmm. Um, Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Discuss the crops. Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. <laughs> Maybe a vegetable. Fair enough, kid. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. We can grow a lot of stuff there. Stickers. We could also try to be self sufficient when we're in Mexico. I mean, we could. I don't see why we couldn't. I'm going to take that souvenir. Yeah. Um, solar panels, anything interesting on these? 
Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. Yeah, makes sense. Don't know where they, they just got some random solar panels from, but... You know, self-sufficiency is about fun in these things. Anything here? No, nothing. Oh, Daniel's drawing. Don't do bad, please. Hey. Really? Oh, yeah, it's Your Chris! That's so cute! What's awesome? That's so cool. I love it. Um, why not? Yep. Let's make it happen. Why not? Makes sense. What else have we got around here? Recycling boxes. We don't shit where you sleep, kid. Fair. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. That makes sense. Got a sculpture. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. It's um, an interesting place, I gotta say. Love the energy out here. With everyone building stuff as they please. Just kind of do what they want, don't they? I love it. Movie theater. Dude. Remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching you how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, board game? Karen and Joanne spent evenings playing and chatting. <sighs> kind of like me and Lila. Back uh... in the day. Oh, bless him. You must miss her so much. Joanne can throw a total rager out here. But without asshole neighbors. Anything interesting in the junk? This place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. Um, it's kind of a lot of stuff, isn't there? I, I can hear Daniel using like his powers. Anything into art, construction, or agriculture here. Scraps. Joanne picks up all kinds of scraps from the desert. She even found a boat once. Um. Yep, yeah, there he is in the background using his powers. There's power cuts all the time here, but no one's really bothered by it. So I'm guessing everyone in this community knows about Daniel's powers, then. Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. There's everything. What am I stuck on? Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. What's up, Joanne? Yep, they Can all definitely know. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. It's kind of free for him out here. That child is... Something special. Yeah. I hear this one a lot. I kind of feel like oh, leaving him here is going to be the best thing for him, yeah, not going yeah. to Mexico. Because he's not going to be able to use <laughs> his powers in Mexico. Town, Sean? I'm dead serious. Um, still got a lot to learn. <laughs> Talent. Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. It's okay to not know stuff. Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. Fair. Um. Are you always Did an you artist. Always want to be an artist. <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to. Okay. Until I realized it was useless. Listen. If you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, I do like having fun, so. Give me a hand here. Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. What are we sure. going for? 
Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, okay, he's yes. helping to build stuff. Okay, oh. I get it. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, we're getting a proper bird's so eye view on this one. Extra, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've okay. A model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Okay. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Right. So she's got that weird little model, which is like a alien thing. Okay, um, so the ball is on the bottom, metal belly, metal head, metal arm, so let's add the belly first. Okay, Daniel, can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? What? Be careful, Daniel. He's doing it. Don't want you to get hurt. Oh, and then... With the spider on top, okay. Add that then. Mm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Sweet. Oh, I see where you're going with this. And then the spider on top. Now. Let's throw on that spider. See, okay, interesting, interesting. I'd say that's pretty, pretty good. It's not quite what she was going for, but makes Daniel happy. I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Oh yeah, it's super cool. Thanks for listening to me, Sean. It's exactly what I wanted. You did a great job, and I. Well, Sean. Just panda to the little boy. I think art might be in your family DNA. There's and then no he doesn't blow stuff up. That's the point. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. Cool. That was fun. Where are we off to now? Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. Can I we speak, sir? Like my... it, ah! it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's <laughs> a, a video game, right? Interesting. Yes. I'm not really sure that's her and thing, you can build but... Whatever you want in... I mean, the building part's cool. Ooh, you have to show me, then. Precarious patriot. Right, now we can talk to her. in dust. I think. Is it going to let me, or is it just saying Joanne? Yeah, we can speak to her. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Fair enough. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Makes sense, cool. I guess. Well, that's cool Joanne trusted me to help build her sculpture. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hun. I want to take back the telescope, haven't I? That's what I was actually trying to do. Chair. Sit. Can I draw? Is this a drawing spot? Or is it just a sitting this spot? This place is such a trip. Just a sitting spot. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it. But the closer She's doing his little head, monologue. It changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks. But they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. I guess I'm always going to be a visitor. Oh, bless him. You done with your monologue? Done with his monologue. Okay, let's go. Let's try and return this telescope. Ooh, a barbecue! Interesting. These guys are like 
social directors here. I still love to party. You gotta have a good party in your time, you know. Morning, Sean. Hello. Morning, guys. There we go. We can give him the telescope now. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, and some coffee. Thank you. Special desert brew and dust free. Thanks so much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. Huh. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. <laughs> I can you be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. <laughs> Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Uh, we'll be leaving soon. She visits a lot. Does she come visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, I quite for like example. That. Um, never get bored. Why come here? Uh, never so, get bored. Don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do sometimes. We're in a desert. <laughs> I miss the parks, cafes, shopping. But this place is something else. And we feel safe out here. I suppose there's nothing you stopping you from going back. A family so man a few years ago. Have like a holiday. Had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. Thanks Deep. for this one. <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own way. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for <laughs> yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. <laughs> I'm gonna hang around before it gets too hot. Thanks for the desert, brew. They seem cool. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird hippie version. Ooh, the birdhouse. Look at that. It's not very exotic, but... I thought exotic, there was only but... vultures in the desert. You know, we are. Life's a journey, better stay home. <laughs> Arthur and, and fireworks. Stanley cannot wait for the 4th of July. Me neither. That's quite cool. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. <laughs> uh, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Hey, Daniel. Um, kind of normal. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. <laughs> I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get a little... Oh, Daniel. You're a bit young to be thinking I about stuff like that. I hope the are listening. But that was cute. Um. David always wants to help. But he's tough to figure out. Oh, uh, what do you want now, kiddo? I hit something super cool for you to find. Oh, okay. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? Sure. Ten four. Okay. You're on it, I know. Are you gonna give me if any I can idea where it is? In the forest, I can find okay, anything. I can't go that way. Sweet Sean. Listen carefully. I'm listening. Deal. So, for the first item as near the place with many wings that cannot fly. Um. That's, that's it. 
that's your clue? Your turn to it, big brother. Many wings that cannot fly. You have wings, don't you? And don't bother checking Mom's trailer. It's outside. Okay. Um, you are, you have many wings and you can't fly. As cold as ever. Well, what else has wings that can't fly? A windmill? That one? You're way out there, dude. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. Getting warm. Okay, so we're by the windmill. They're warming up. Oh, there we go. What is it? Oh, it's a map, I think. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because we'll need it to match up with the other part. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Now, what now? For the second item. Oh, I know mm -hmm. that. Sure. That's the solar panels. <laughs> nah, not this one. The one about the guy who completely It's behind David's, isn't it? You're in the middle zone. Getting warm. Getting closer. So it's here. Is it behind it? Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, so this is the map. So he's treasure is by the cars um, behind his little sculpture thing because we are we're at David's. So his sculpture is yes. Yeah, so I think it's kind of where he is. Okay. Found it. Nice. And it's a. Tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yep, I've done that. So Ahoy, his sculpture's all the way over there. I think I have the whole treasure map. Right, Captain, now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope so it's by cars. <laughs> That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. I'm here. You're way out there. You just said I was here. Uh, Guess people yeah, came here with ease and never left. He's telling me that I'm here. So what am I grabbing? Oh man, you're right there. Just look around. I am looking around. Where am I looking? You're a and now I'm. I don't understand. So it's on the other side of the cars. Close, Is it round here? No. Round this side. So you're telling me it burns. Tell me I'm cold. Now you're totally frozen. Where is it? Oh man, you're right there. Just look around. I'm looking around. What am I looking at? There's nothing here, Daniel. I think Daniel's trolling me. Is it in this box? Let me look at this box first. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. I don't know where this thing is.
He's telling me it's here, but there's nothing here for me to interact with. Oh, there. Is it that thing? No? Grab what? I don't understand what I'm supposed to be grabbing. I actually don't understand what I'm supposed to be grabbing. What is it? Um, I don't understand what I'm looking for! He's telling me to grab it, but there's nothing for me to grab. I'm getting really angry. That's the Those only thing for me to interact with. Right. What is it? Warm. See, now I'm warm. Right. I'm going to do a Google. I'm going to do a Google real quick. Um, tell me what I'm grabbing. Tell me, Google. First clue. Uh, there's one red car. Underneath the red car is the treasure. Underneath this one. Really? Ooh. Looks like what is something's it? buried here. Yes. Really? That's it? All of that I effort for that? Found the hidden treasure. <laughs> Should have just gone to bed. Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Okay. <laughs> Look at him go! Come on, dance. I'll dance. Does it give me a... Nope, gotta do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. You asked for it. Right, now what's the plan? We've done his stupid treasure. Got a new souvenir. What's the gotcha. plan? We'll help her out with the groceries. Mumsy, where you at? Daniel said he spotted you, but I ain't seeing no truck. Oh, well, here's your trailer. Huh. Beaver Creek sign. Hey. Do you miss Beaver Creek? That was um, where Chris was, wasn't it? I think. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, there she is. I have come to help with oh, the groceries. That. Gotta empty that truck. I'm here. Hello. Yeah, I'm already here! Hey! Hey. Glad to see you survived the night in the desert. Howdy, Sean. Hey, what's up? How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Ah. People look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned Raiders. With offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. <laughs> oh, hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. 
Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. This is quite a cute little community. Hey. Just so all doing their own you thing. Guys like your night in Canyon. It was amazing. It was amazing. So many stars. I can't imagine it so was actually quiet. pretty quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it. Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes. Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. I mean, I feel like that's because you can cheat, but, you know. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid and play. Yeah, That's fair, but, but you know, like if he could stop friend. killing people in the process, that They've would be amazing. Influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like Kinda to got show point. off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's skills. Um, me neither. Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But you trained him well. He's a good kid. Thanks. I tried my best. I guess it's reassuring. But what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. I try <laughs> to be a good influence. Generally, Not most people don't easy. meet people with superpowers. But he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me. Combat was easier. Um, eat how many kids? Oh. You didn't tell me you were married. I uh, used to be. She died. A few oh, years that's sad. Ago. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's life. <sighs> but at least I got an angry stepdaughter in the deal. <laughs> <laughs> we were like oil and water. And she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. I don't think many people know how to but deal with, like, teenage girls. We eventually made our peace. Anyway, we can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. <sighs> okay. Time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> wow, the We're shade. Not here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. Do you want to carry some bags, Daniel? Tom, use your little power. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help you. Nobody's happy. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. I'm shopping. Oh, okay. Choco crisp, bacon soda. Uh, shea butter, turmeric, ibuprofen, measuring tape, roasted nuts. Okay, fair enough. I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather. Sometimes. Yeah, I bet. We've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? I think it's nice. Um, it's another world to remote for me. Everybody's cool. Uh, I'm going to say it's another world. This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. 
I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. Yep, you could say that. That's why people come here from all over the country for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. Um, you live as outcasts. So peaceful here. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> We're gonna be positive. That's what positive vibes really for the final episode. Peace. You're probably right. Yes. I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. Yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. Well, I don't know. live slightly apart. I think right? we're, um, pretty remote. I couldn't live here. How did you find this place? So, how did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone, Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Interesting. Well, is she like dead or did she just thanks leave? For bringing us here. Oh, sure. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all Oh, talk? this doesn't sound good. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Hmm. I don't know how it sounds. This, this sounds ominous. I don't trust it. Big brother to Super Wolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? He was just here, so I don't know where he's wandered off to in any case, but. Hola. Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Didn't we just get back from the canyon? Let's pack then. I don't like the sounds of this. I think we're going to get some bad news. I think there's going to be some beef. I think someone else up. I'm envisioning many problems. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. <laughs> yeah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> I don't know if I trust this. I don't know. I've just got some weird vibes going on. Slow down more. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. True. Guys, check this out. That's where we now came from earlier. This is nature's art. What are we looking at? Just the sunset? It's so big. Or just the giant and pretty and so full. quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Don't know, I can hear some crickets. Serious? If we're lucky. Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh! Uh oh. I hear a wolf. <laughs> Better be careful. A hunter's out here. The Wolf Brothers can't be trapped. You'd help us. Uh, I feel like you're relying on her too much, dude. She's definitely about to let you us down. All the time. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. But <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. 
You're way more like me. <laughs> yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. What an absolute disaster that wrecks everyone's lives. I agree. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. Very good no, running away, aren't you? It's the best spot. We said positive <laughs> vibes for the last episode, Tash. Stop being negative. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. Um, got to know you better. You helped us a lot. Regret leaving us. Uh, got to know you better. Good to get to know you better. See your life. This place is pretty cool. It's like Fairy Road, but <laughs> nicer. I got to learn about living in a desert, hiking canyons, counting stars. <laughs> You're a natural-born explorer. It's hard to believe you two are actually out here with me. I was lucky we had this chance. Yeah. Just know I love both of you so much. And I'm proud of who you are. And where you're going. Um, you could come with us. She's not gonna want to, but... Uh, by the way, um... If you wanted to... You could come with us to Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You know she's not going to leave, though. You're almost there. But I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shoot. Oh dear. And they'll find us. So we need to leave, well, like, pronto. Figures. This couldn't last forever. So... This is it? See you then. We'll leave tomorrow. Well... Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like, we were always going to go to Mexico anyway, so it's just a little bit sooner. That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Cool. Let's light up the sky. I mean, these things are pretty, but I'm pretty sure these are really bad for like animals and the environment. They start fires and stuff. Although I'm not really sure how much damage they can do in a desert because there's not any many plants or anything. very deep. Oh, look, and Daniel's using his power to spin him around. That's cute.
Ooh, it's so tense. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. <laughs> it's like to get rid of us, Mumsy. Since we have to leave again. I think... I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. Um, how far is the border? What will you do now? Uh, what will you do what now? You Let's find out. Take off and hide? Not this time. <laughs> I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to to help you. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm going to give you a head start from the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. No, you that's a bit. Mom, we'll go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Uh... Yeah, whatever. You Thank left you. us. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules, no matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me. Try to stay true to yourselves. This is your I life. Think, I think we've managed that pretty well. Don't let anybody get in the way. Dad didn't raise us this way. Um, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go with the dad. We have the loyalty to the dad. Uh, I don't know. Dad didn't raise us this way. He was a rebel, but he wasn't a criminal. He didn't teach us to say, fuck it. Esteban had a lot more faith in the system than me. I had to do shit my own way. Look, I only want you and Daniel to get what you deserve. I, I get that, but I don't know. I just don't want to abandon everything our dad taught us, you know? Okay. Because he didn't friend. abandon us. You did. Wait, let me see bye to Joanne. All right. Don't, don't let him go off on his own. Check up on the truck before you hit it. Every time he goes off on his own, he does something. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. I get um, that. You should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. All right, David. We'll come and see and um, see what's going on. Huh. Oh, you can write to Karen. Yeah. Uh, we'll call her mum. She's been pretty good to us. Hey, mum. Yeah, we got we got lots of dollars. I know you're better with words than me, but still, here it goes. Do we get to choose like every part of the message? Um, I think I finally get you. Okay. It took me some time, but I think I get why you are who you are. Maybe we're not that different. I mean, I think you are. Um, don't give up on your freedom. Sorry for getting you into trouble. Please don't give up on your freedom. I'm not really that sorry. I don't really okay. care what happens to her. I'm going to be real honest. Like... It's okay. the best thing you've taught us. I get that she's a mum, but her reasons for abandoning them were still pretty... We'll reach you once we find our own freedom. Thank you so much. Love. Sean. Um... Don't leave a letter, rewrite, leave as it is. I think that's pretty cute.
sorry guys, my lip piercing fell out, so I just had to pop that back in. Um, this is all the same stuff, isn't Should it, pretty much? See what David wants now. Clothes? Oh, we can tidy, we can do some tidying before we leave, you know. Be a good little, little egg. Not leave the place in a mess. Um, oh, there's a box, what's in the box? Hmm. Is that the same person who rode her back in Beaver Creek? Hi, Rumi. Yes, I know New York in August is hot as balls. You did say like you like the heat, but my apartment under the roof can be really suffocating. Don't want to rub it in, but Aspen is my new summer home. Daily temp around 70 degrees and hot tub upright. Anthony's cabin is more like a squee lodge. Next trip, maybe you can tag along. Pirates retreat, best cure. For and please let me know when you can pay me back for August's rent. I definitely need it for next month. And up here in Aspen. I'll see you on September 5th instead of the 4th, so you put your clothes on. Stay out of trouble and remember to water my babies this time. Love ya, Emma. She was that close. Uh, to Miss Reynolds. So she had to pay all that money back. Pursuant to our conversation on June 10th, and your inability to submit your poetry manuscript the other way to Ravensbury Pass by the contracted deadline of June 1st, 2010. Um, despite repeated efforts to accommodate you, we regret to inform you this breach of contract means we sh should no longer publish in the collection as part of our new poet series. As stated in section is that six of our contracts, the attached copy, if the author fails to deliver the manuscript by the agreed date, the publisher has the right to recover the full amount of the $10,000 advance we have included with this letter of payment form and schedule. As stated in section whatever of our contracts, the attached copy, the rights of your manuscript shall revert back to the author upon full repayment of the advance. If you have any further questions, please refer them to our legal team. We wish you best of luck your future endeavours. Sincerely, Alison Moon, Poetry Editor at Ravensbury Pass, New York. So are they giving her £10,000 or are they, they taking it? Still can't believe she's kept it. Um, that's the bed. Anything else to do? There's the fan. Okay, I think we've done everything that, you know, we came to do. Let's go see David, then. This place has too many adults. What am I stuck on? I keep getting stuck on that. But I'm gonna miss it. Hello, sir, you wish to see me? <laughs> Sean, hey. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Okay. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. Um, that's the police scanner. Let's have a look around first. Must be his wife. <gasps> Time's taking a serious toll on him since this. Poor guy. No. No way! That's Chloe! Huh! So, obviously I haven't played, watched a playthrough of the first one. Um, so it said that it would pick a random ending for me. And the ending that it picked was that um, Max saved Chloe instead of letting Chloe die. And the storm happened. Um, that, that's what I've gathered based on information. So I'm guessing because she saved Chloe, Chloe's mum died. I don't understand why that never clicked in my head. That's so cool. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. I'll have to, um, because... Uh, Claire Schwann's currently playing through this at the moment, and she's the one who I watched the playthrough of. Um, so I'm going to have to wait for her to release this episode. They look cool. I wonder which one is his daughter. And um, is that supposed to be Hannah and Chloe, maybe? Or Chloe and Becky, because they said that Becky comes. That looks like that's in the desert. But yeah, I'll have to see what it does for her, because in her playthrough, she sacrificed Chloe. So it'll be interesting to see the difference. Cool portraits. <laughs> Didn't think David had a taste for the arts. Yep, David is ready for that apocalypse or <laughs> whatever. I can't say I blame him because he would have, would he have known about Max's power? I'm not actually sure. Yeah, yeah he must have done. He must have done because he helped save them, doesn't he? 
He helped that save them the best meal from the, the teacher. From on the wall. So if she never rewound time to say to, to sacrifice Chloe, then she would have just let the storm play out. So he must, which meant all of that with the um, the teacher and whatnot would have still happened. So he must have seen powers before. I wonder if he's going to pop up in true colours as well. I wonder if he's going to be like a recurring character. Okay. How does this thing work? So uh, 140, 160. Okay. Well, we got to search between 140 and 160. Mm. Is that the police? Don't think so. Keep scanning. It's kind of hard to actually change this. Now I'm going down. This isn't consistently going up or down. This is really annoying. Nope. No. That's it, innit? Wait, is this it? I think so. Now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. That's Thanks, really David. cool. You big rebel. Of course he'll have a police scanner, because he was a policeman, wasn't he? So... Where'd he go, though? Oh, he's, he's over there. And your mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <sighs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about nice. that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right, this is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now, you have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. Sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know, the police are on your ass. Kind of assumed that. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. He's a lot nicer but than he was in the first one. Little brother for a while. I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane, now, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. Oh, it literally killed everyone. Oh my gosh. Lost everyone else. <gasps> Jeez. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. Oh, they ran away together then? They hit the road straight away. Never to look back. While I was trying to rebuild. Um Did you stay in touch? That's crazy. Now? I didn't realize it would kill that many people. Yeah. I might. Took me a while to. Oh, I don't know. I was gonna say I might go past and play it myself, past, back and past. play it myself, but mm -hmm. I don't think I'll bother. Like Not really know everything that happens. This just picks a different endings. So. That, I reached out to them, and we made peace with each other. They stayed here for a while. 
It felt good to connect with my daughter at last. You guys remind me of them, in a way. And I don't want to fuck things up this time. Sean, so we know that Chloe's on the I'm run with do Max. Everything I can to help you get out of here. That's well, they're not really on the run. Duty now. But. But. I want to be straight up with you. Wonder if all these characters okay. are going to make an appearance in yeah. um, True Colors. Well, of course. I know you guys got screwed, but you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free sooner than later. I think he murdered someone. Um, I want a new life or turn myself in. Um, I want a new life. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with all this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. That's what I'm worried about. Thing is, who's going to look after Daniel whilst he's gone? Here. Unless he's suggesting so, that if he turns himself in, Daniel can stay with them guys, but... Oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, sweetie. What's up? I'm guessing he's talking to Chloe. I don't know, unless he's talking to the police. I'm not sure I trust him. Oh, they're in New York. Is that... Yeah, no? I, I want to listen to this. How about that other gallery she told me about? Cool. Fingers crossed, then. They seem pretty positive. Nah, your old man doesn't fear the heat. <laughs> Just spying on him through the window. This isn't creepy at all. Hello. Yeah, those Sorry, I'm listening to your conversation. <laughs> this is so <laughs> creepy. <laughs> I love that they actually have the conversation. You can actually listen to it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if you got down to Louisiana. Or Texas. I feel like there's going to be something important if I stay here and listen. Yeah, gotcha. All right, take care then. Saying goodbye. Luck for me, okay? Bye bye. Love ya. Just hang it up. Don't mind me, sir. I'm just staring at you through the window. And now she's just going to sit there. Okay. Well, what's the plan now? Please, Go to the car? Please don't let the cops come looking for us out here. Let's check you out one last time. Leave away. I don't know. I feel like there's some more we hey, can do before we leave. Oh, need any help? Maybe we can go say goodbye to everyone. Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. Um, didn't know you were a gearhead. Never got into cars. Truck will make it. So, do you think your truck will make it all the way to the border? Oh, it will. It's never failed me before. How long have you been driving for? Not long enough. Dad taught me, but... I always had other plans. We didn't go cruising too much. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be too. He was old-fashioned. Oh, he wanted me to find myself. Yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, 
Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Um, ever been there together? Did you guys ever go to Mexico together? We talked about going, but never did. He said growing up there was hard. But he loved it. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. I'm not sure I can do this. I just want this over. His power freaks me out. Uh, I just want this to be over with. I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over. If we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. He wants to be equals. And you guys are going to have to work together. He may even help you make it. I doubt that. Maybe you're right, like you know. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. He's definitely going to ruin things for us. You'll figure it out, like you always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune up. All right. right. I'll make one last round before leaving. Yeah, I'm going to go say goodbye to everyone. I think that's like the right thing to do. Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. Come to chat with you both. To say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? <laughs> I love Everything these guys. Okay? Yeah. Just this is sweet. Time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. Uh, too risky for everyone. We gotta cross that border. I'd say it's too risky yeah, for everyone. But it's too risky, especially for all of you. We all took a risk moving here. Look, we can hide you from the cops. Not these ones. Oh, these they guys are so sweet. Ass. It's better if we leave now. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure Sean. we can make that work. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay, I'm done babbling. I just take goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Can we all just go together? We, Take everyone. We're gonna make it work. Shit. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Watch out for Daniel. That's he all I ever you. do. Everyone's always like, watch out for Be Daniel. Safe. Daniel needs you. And Daniel's a just a kid. To the beach. Daniel caused all of this. Like, I know he's behaving now, but it's taken five whole episodes for him to stop being a brat. I still don't trust it. There. Oh, look at the little wooden bear. Maybe I'll see some of your cousins in Mexico. After leaving. That's just unfair. It is unfair. I agree. Let's go see Joanne. Come on. Hey, what's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So, what do you think? Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Daniel, happy? Very cool. I can totally tell what you're doing. <laughs> Good, that makes one of us. But I like it. Of course, you and Daniel, you did inspire me. I love it. So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, yep, we're just off. Just to say goodbye. Uh, that's sweet. <laughs> You're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around was <laughs> the sweetest thing. 
This is for all your help. Really? Aww, oh, little wolf. That's, that's pretty great. cute. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself and my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey. Is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Sure oh, thing, buddy. Kidding? Sure thing. I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. I'll miss you so much. Right, well, I think we're all good to go. We've said goodbye to everyone, so... I think it's time to leave. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to her way? Yeah. Kind of sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Manana. Come here. Mom. I, I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both and what you're gonna do with your life. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well... Let's go and cross the border. Um, hug Karen, don't hug Karen. We'll hug her. Come on, we're not that bitter. Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. So based, based on how long I've been playing this episode, I think there's roughly just over an hour left. Let's hit the room. So, is he going to snitch on us? There's still a lot of time for things to go wrong. Take care, boys. Stay safe. Oh. Didn't hurt you when you left us so Tash. Stop it. Bye, Stop everybody. being bitter. Trouble awaits us now. It's just us two because you know it's coming. He's not as stroppy and miserable as I was expecting him to be about us leaving. Hey. Is something wrong? We're almost there, okay? That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So... What's the problem? What... What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? 
We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? Live like kings, no more running. It's a new home. We're gonna live like kings. Forever. We can live like kings, dude. The dollar goes a long way there. We don't need much. Yeah, right. So who am I gonna play with? What do I do for And fun? he's back to being bright. Uh, back to school. Come on. You can make friends when you go back to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? Um, I'll teach you. Everybody likes you. I'll teach you. I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. Oh, I wow. Guess. Thanks, Daniel. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you. Good. No more explosions. We like this. We're making progress. He hasn't yeeted us out of the car or off the road or into a cliff or something. That's one way of learning to drive, I guess. There's the wall, or the border. That looks so big. Dude, do, do you know what? This is gonna be a, a really dumb question. Friends. Except it won't keep us in. Actually went there. Oh, that's not. We need to get inside. Oh dear. No, they arrested her. Sean, why would they arrest Mom? Why? So they can give her shit. But she didn't do anything. Is that just a? The cops will have to let her go. What is that? Is that supposed to be Why the police? Can't they just leave us alone. <laughs> okay. They're going to. Um. Once we're over that fucking wall. Yeah, I was gonna say like, I, I, this is gonna be really terrible. But did, I'm guessing Trump actually built the wall then, like. Hey. I know he kept saying he was going to, Sean? but I kind of assumed it didn't go ahead because of how ridiculous Why would they it is. Build this. Well, you know, it's a border, man. They did. They did actually build it. 
Is wow. Is house in Mexico going to be totally trashed, or what? I'm sure it is. Run! Shit. I didn't think there would be more than a barbed wire fence out here. I'm sure it is. Whatever. Are we just gonna have to ask Nile to destroy it? Is there no other way in? I know. It's gonna be super easy with my power. We could try and find a nice way I'm in. Wasting nope. time. We need to cross that wall. Okay, well, Daniel, blow it up for us, buddy. He did actually build it. Like that just uh... So here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. I love the way his his idea was to stop people getting out, but now like people are wanting to get in. Like the whole thing's just ridiculous, really, isn't it? I can't. It's all right. Take your time. Stay focused. Oh dear. Actually did that really sensibly. You're right to roll. Didn't cause chaos. Almost. It's okay. It's okay. And did it nice and clean. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. Nailed it. Well. We did it. I would advise we get in the car and go. That shit up. <laughs> yes. <sighs> it's all thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Terrible idea. You so know something bad's oh, about man. to happen. Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean. Mexico has an ocean. That would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. It'll be so <laughs> Oh, Jesus. A, that made me jump. Daniel. Also. Daniel, talk to me. Daniel, talk to me. It's just the arm, dude. No, no way, not now. Daniel! Hey! Who are you? Are they not even the police? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, oh. oh, shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let me go! Him. Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Oh my Comprende. god. Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Oh my god. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! We're going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. 
That's fucking funny. Um, we're Americans. We're Americans. She's not gonna believe that, but. Americans, damn it! Now it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. Oh, for Get goodness' it? sake! Uh, and shooting a kid is fine. Do we look like terrorists? We're just kids. Not after you blow a wall up. So tell me the plan. Um. Well, it kind of was us. I saw that. You're not cops. You can't arrest us. No, but we work with them, and they sure appreciate our help. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. <sighs> Still bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. Oh, no. D don't move. It's over. What the fuck? Get it off. Stop. Get it off. Oh, bless him. Jesus. What the fuck is going on? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal, you know? Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. Fuck. How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it. Oh, my God. You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegal. Fuck's sake. What I say. Okay. Take a breath. You okay now? Daniel! What? Is that that? I'm sorry, are you Sean? Oh, no. Sean Diaz? Oh, no. You're under arrest. Oh, it was all going so well. Just wanted to go to Mexico. Says being. See. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla. Y este frijolito de aquí es. Oh. Es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Que no hacen daño a los niños. They kind of did. They just shot him, so... This place is fucking gross. Seriously? Why are you doing this? What's your problem? Doing what? You shot my ten-year-old brother! It was a mistake. It's just a graze. The fall is what knocked him out. 
Oh, you don't have to talk to him, Dad. Okay. Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí. No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. Um, we aren't illegal trying to reach Mexico. When was that? En realidad, queremos llegar a México. México. No mames. <laughs> Pero, ¿por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. Um, ¿Por qué why? necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente? Por las mismas razones que todos. No podemos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México, la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla, nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos pedido quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. That's fair. Um, what my father did, isn't it the easy way? Non El Dorado. Um, that's what his dad did. Es lo que hizo mi Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres. Para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto. Pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse. Como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México no va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Um, I'm pessimistic. We are integrated. It's getting better. Um, I don't know. It's getting better, Los maybe? Los tiempos cambian. Pero la gente también. En el camino... Encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. No eres extranjero. Tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglarte más. Si funciona. Oh shit. Enough now. It's America. We wow, speak you're such a bitch. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego, no, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride, and that makes me sick. Um, you're getting, you're generalizing. Immigrants built the country, stop causing trouble. You're generalizing. Not all immigrants cause trouble. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Lots of them do. Our prisons are full. We only want work and and in peace. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. Huh? My dad was an immigrant, and he worked his ass off, raised a family, and made a business. Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. What a role model. Wow. Thanks for my Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite oh. have nothing in common with wow. me and my family. That's what? disgusting. What you say? Oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is our country. Siéntate, Diego. 
Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tiene razón, amor. No vale nada. Whether you people lack it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too, loser. <laughs> exactly that. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <laughs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. I mean, this okay. guy doesn't seem too bad. Let's move it. Well, so far, if he's the one that picked us up off the ground, he seemed relatively friendly. Or well, not friendly. You know what I mean. He wasn't being straight up racist. He wasn't being really rough of us. He was being okay. All right. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You See, he's... want coffee? See, he seems like an alright guy. Okay. Good. Be right back. Daniel's definitely gonna cause some explosions. Fuck. What did they... Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. I hope he's alright. Oh, yeah, shit. We... Probably gonna Is blow everything up. Already? How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? You can break the handcuffs. I'm getting these off. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm just gonna. Everywhere. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for him to get back with the coffee. Like I'm not gonna attempt to break the handcuffs. So tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? You probably won't. I think, I think we wait. I think we behave. There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. I'll drink some coffee. Okay. Damn. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. Well, at least it's nicer, I suppose. Like, you know, it's better than just sitting in silence. Now we've drunk all the coffee. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Assaulting a gas station clerk. Caught in a, another weird explosion. At a pot <laughs> farm in California. Noticing then a um join a religious commune pattern here. Nevada, mm, oh, which ends up burnt to the ground. <laughs> and it's not looking good. We're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with, but not all that. Um, I can explain. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. Ah, oh, this bitch is back. She spoke to your mother. Who took responsibility for the church fire? She says a lot. That's not true. 
Um, I don't want to get angry though. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey, it's not up to me, kid. Listen, I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. I think we should just rat Daniel out, to be honest. Um, it wasn't my fault. I had to. I did what I had to do. I needed to protect my brother. I know, son. But running away from trouble is never a good solution. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident, so why didn't you wait for the police? Um, no one would have believed that it was too late. Um... I panicked, okay? Then it was too late. We were already criminals. Well, it's no reason to make things worse by running away, kid. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents. If they cool. So let's show them what, what, what he can do. A shitload of years between bars. And then, like... At least he'll get a life. No, uh, Daniel. What I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. Oh, oh, Daniel's about to block the police station and a nice police officer. Uh, random accidents <laughs> with super villains. Um, random accidents. Those were just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy, but it just happens around us. Can't explain it. Uh huh. Listen, once is an accident, twice. Is luck. Oh, <gasps> wait! Is enemy action. Is Sean gonna have Whoa. powers? What is that? No, Sir? no, definitely, Daniel. I don't think you should keep your ass in that seat. <gasps> no! Sean! You okay? How do you feel? I I'm okay. Just a little headache. Hold on. Dude, we gotta go. Hold up. Is he okay? I, I wanted to rescue you, but I, I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. Is he though? Hey. Hey. Is he actually okay? We gotta go. But nothing personal, dude. Okay, I'm assuming he's okay. Anything else? Who are these people? Well, Carla and Diego. Wait, there's a security they camera. Came all the way from Mexico. It's broken now, but. Good thinking, Daniel. Well. Okay. Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. Can we let them out? And got thrown in jail for it. As for the others. Shall we try to make peace with these morons? As for the others. Can we do it? They're the ones who try to shoot you. What? They got locked up? Good. Oh, go to hell. Shall we try to make peace with these morons? Yeah, I think we should. Um, free them. Daniel, can you open your cell? What if they attack us? They won't. Trust me. All right. Step back. What are you doing? You're welcome. Why? What did you do that for? Because we're not assholes. Yeah. Thank you. Exactly that. Yeah. Don't make us regret this. We've got to, we've got to, re we've got to release Carla and Diego, though. Hold on. I probably should release them You're first in case you could only get one out, but. Daniel? Whoa. 
That's it. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Espérenme aquí. Until I check this out. Of, of course. Um. You Is he okay? I killed. He's out for the count. He's okay. Okay, hands oh, up. Shit. Don't move. Don't shoot. Hands up. Do not move. Oh, I'm not moving. Wait, Sean. Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Um. Quick. Kill. Gotta find something. Distract. To stop. Distract. I gotta get us. Um, it won't let me look we at the fire extinguisher. We need to. Understand? Distract fire them. Fuck. I'm scared. Do something. I'm not doing very well. What's going on? I can't. Hey, what the fuck? Do not move. This I don't think I did it quick enough. Don't do anything warning. stupid. Put your guns down. Please. Sean! Are they okay? Hey, uh, I don't think I did it quick enough. I was too busy looking at things. I'm not sure if that was supposed to, to happen, okay. but... I didn't want to hurt anybody anymore. You saved us. Oops. No My bad. Now, let's bail. Sean, I think our things are in there. Cool, you do that. Are these guys okay? Are they Dad dead? Just in there, Sean. Go get it. Well, I will if you open the door for me. Step back. Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Okay, but be quick. Um. Oh. They got a rifle. You're not gonna hunt shit anymore. Um, walkie talkies. You must really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. Um, vigilante's bag. Yeah, belongs to one of these trigger happy people. Can we take it? Oh, we can. Or is that the flag pin? Is this a souvenir? Pretty good memory. Really? A pretty bad place. I, I, how is that in any way a good memory, dude? Look at that. Crime central. Come on, Sean. We gotta go. Can we tell no. these people it's safe to go there? We gotta get out of here. Okay. No, no time to go back. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. Take it out, Daniel. Give your sweet spin, Nika. Okay. Go! Go! Let's roll, Daniel. Well, they're in America now. They're now also criminals for escaping a police station. So... Hurry, I'm not sure Sean, that's going to help them. I'm kind of mad I didn't stop them. I didn't see the locker, so... No, nobody is chasing us. Not yet. Emergency! This is an all-point bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Rey police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean, it's the 4th of July. Our first one without Dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? 
He always made us go too early, so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Sean, what are we going to do? Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this work! Get out of the car! Hello! Wave your hand above your head! Do exactly what I say! What do we do? You know that day? In Seattle? The date Dad was shot? He's gonna tell him the truth about what happened, isn't he? I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you and Anna. Just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together. You can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Danny. And if that happens... I'm going to have to choose, aren't I? Promise me that. You will always do the right thing, okay? Don't waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. <laughs> Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise you. Oh, this is getting emotional. I don't like it. Um, cross the border. Oh, I've got to choose. <laughs> That's going to use Daniel's power. I'm going to surrender. I'm going to do the right thing. In Life is Strange 1, I would have done the right thing. I would have sacrificed Chloe. Right here. here? But I could... I get it. That's not who we are. Exactly. So it was given her the choice, basically. You could follow. You could follow what your dad said, or you can follow what your mum said. And we still have time to choose what life we want to live. You're my brother. And I love you. I kind of wish I'd selected to go through the border. I love you too, Sean. It's gonna be all right. I promise. You promise? For real this time? I do. We're doing the right thing. Just try and remember what I taught you. I mean, only the good shit. 
I will. I'm definitely going to Google what happens if you I cross swear. the border, but you know. We're being responsible. Well, I, I kind of knew this choice was always going to come. I'm sorry about all this. We're gonna look after your brother. That's my word. Okay, he's ready. Sean! No, Sean! Oye, oye, oye. Come on! He's gonna be fine. Daniel! You're not a little wolf anymore. Never forget who you are. Never. <laughs> This is so sad. Like, it's sad because all of this was like... It, it, Sean didn't do anything. All of it was Daniel. He's literally just fully given up his life. Daniel with his grandparents. Sean and Daniel. Daniel and Chris, he got to be reunited with Chris. That looks like a papa. Superwolf says day, so he's making comics. <gasps> Daniel's got a beard? 2025. That's David, that's the mum, I think. Oh, in Nano. He's working in a coffee shop, he's just having a really normal life. Twenty thirty three. He's moving out. Do we get to see Sean out of prison if it's jumped that far? Fifteen years after the events at the border. Excuse me, because my controller is literally about to die. Which means my mic will cut out, so if I go silent, that is why. Is that Lila? So old. I 
15 years. He didn't do for a long ass time. I think that's definitely Lila. So did he never see Cassidy again? I wonder if he'd have seen Cassidy again if he'd gone gone to the border. Never saw Brody again. I thought Brody was going to pop back into it. I know he had the article, but. Going to the woods together. Camping like old times. Do you reckon that kind of when Daniel grew up and looked back on how things transpired, do you reckon he felt like a lot of guilt or? Daniel's turn to look after Sean. I think we're owed that, to be fair. For him. But yeah, I wonder how Daniel, like, looked back on it all. Because he doesn't seem like he feels that guilty. He looks just, like, pretty happy. They're going back to all the places they went. Like this was the the woods where they stayed. I thought that little rock they they stayed under might have been. Where is he going? Is he gonna go to Mexico anyway? in the wolf owl. Daniel clearly has learned nothing because he's still just using his powers for fun.
So they did go their separate ways. But where? I have a feeling Sean went to Mexico anyway. But yeah, that's... Life is Strange too, guys. I don't know if there's going to be like an end credit after the decision, but I'll go back and have a look. I'm also going to do a Google and see what happens if they cross the border. I think that could be quite interesting. But yeah, thank you to everyone who's like supported the series and been here throughout. I've had a bit of a ride with it. I still don't like Daniel. I still think Daniel was selfish and a brat, but you know, he wasn't as bad, I guess. But yeah, I'm going to skip to the end of the credits and I'll see you all then. Okay, so here are the choices that we made. Um, so Daniel could actually def um, refuse to do the choices, apparently. Um, you decide to surrender to accepted. So we had 33%, but it was actually quite a mixed bag on what people could get. Um, a lot of people had Daniel refuse to force the roadblock. Um, but yeah, that was actually a pretty, pretty even split between the top three there. And overall, you taught Daniel to do his best to follow the rules of society. I mean... Yeah. Um, you did the treasure hunt and found the hidden souvenir. Uh, 90%. You overall got close to Karen, 81%. Uh, you wrote a caring note to Karen, 68%. Um, so you could do a conciliating note, a lukewarm note, or not leave one. So we did, we did care him. Um, you said farewell to our friend Stanley. You said farewell to Jo, Joanne. Um, you hugged Karen before leaving. You intervened to calm Diego in the cell, 76%. You freed the Mexican couple, 66%. You asked Daniel to open the vigilante cell, 17%. Only 17% chose that one. I mean, to be fair, they deserve to stay there. They shot a kid and they were horrible people, but, um... You didn't hurt the vigilantes 80%. So mo most people just left them there. They didn't hurt them. They didn't rescue them. They just kind of left them there. Um, you asked Daniel to kill the officers to escape the police station. You didn't ask Daniel to kill the officers to escape the police station. 83%. Daniel was told off about the scorpion and stopped messing with it. 45%. He was told off about the scorpion but kept messing with it. 23%. And he wasn't told off. 32%. So, you know, we got the good one there. Daniel managed to set up Joanne's sculpture like he wanted. 15%. Uh, managed to set it up with your help. 81% managed to set up without your help. So we, we, we got it. We, we were on one of the uh, minorities there with how he wanted it. Um, Daniel said about hurting Officer uh, Campbell, 62%. Oh, so he could not. Okay. Um, Daniel accepted to open the bridge, Lanty cell. 13%. Okay, so if he was asked, he could refuse. Um, Daniel didn't have to lash out at the vigilantes, 81%. Um, that's quite good. And Daniel was forced to intervene because the officers 25%. Oops. Um, Daniel locked up the officers in the closet. Yeah, so I should have done that. Because he didn't knock them out. I'm guessing the chair would have knocked him out in the closet. Like the two wrong things there. But um, Daniel wasn't asked to kill the officers, 84%. So he can refuse, he can reluctant, but is forced to, and he can be okay with it. So I think we've got some pretty good stuff to play and see if there's um, an end credit scene. There is no end credit scene. Okay. Well, thanks for watching the series, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed playing. No, it was difficult at times because brat. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in probably. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a playthrough of True Colors, so when that comes out, I will see you there. But if you want to check out anything else on the channel, feel free. Bye.